This is a question which showed up on the r slash maths subreddit and many people said well surely the top and the bottom are the same because they're symmetrical and since the integral from a to a of f of x dx is equal to zero this whole thing should equal zero. They're actually almost correct. The top and the bottom look to be identical and they are apart from the first few terms. If you look around here for example you can see that we have identical lines. These lines are identical starting around here, but if you look at the first three lines, you've got integral, 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 but then this third line here, integral zero, one integral, integral is not the same as one, and zero is not the same as the integral. So the answer we end up with isn't necessarily zero. Pause the video now if you want to try it for yourself. So when I first saw this question, my first thought was, what the actual flipping heck is this crap? But then I thought, well, it's just a repeating pattern. So if we find out what's repeating, we should be able to construct a kind of recurring integral and get our Sapinski integral. So let's try to construct the smallest possible Sapinski integral. If we start with the first three lines, we've got integral, 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 integral zero, one integral, then we're gonna copy this entire thing into here and here. Now this looks identical to the start of this, but it actually isn't, because if we look at the fifth line here, we've got integral one, zero, one, which doesn't match up with integral zero, one integral over here. So you actually have to start all the way down at the fifth line and then keep repeating this entire thing onto the end of here and here to get our Sapinski integral. So now we've got a recurring Occurring integral. We've got an initial condition here, which I won't bore you with the details, it turns out to be 1 8th, and we've got a recurring formula here where to find the next term in the sequence we do the same pattern as before, only replacing this one and this one with the previous term. Now if we evaluate the recurring integral, we can then just apply it to the 1 8th to get the next term. So if you plug the 1 8th in here, then using a calculator you end up with 0.1211262, and then if you plug it in again, you end up with 0.1211259. So as you can see, it's converging very rapidly. So to find where it converges, we know that the limit as n tends to infinity of i sub n plus one is equal to i sub n, because as n tends to infinity, the difference between adjacent terms becomes zero. So when we multiply it out, we get this great big long polynomial, and there are two real solutions for this polynomial. x equals 2.108 and x equals 0.121 which is what we're looking for. So surprisingly, there is a solution to the Sapinski integral, and since it's the solution to a 14th degree polynomial, it's also not gonna be transcendental like e or pi. But it is real, and it does have an exact value. It's just that finding the exact value of a 14 degree polynomial isn't something that you can just do. It's most likely that whatever the exact value is, if I was to write it down, it would cover more space on the board than this monstrosity. I've linked the original post in the description and if I've made any serious mistakes which changes my whole answer then please don't tell me because if you do I'll probably end up crying myself to sleep tonight. Like, comment, subscribe and piss off.